From the theater to the streets, all genres of the creative arts were on display this weekend as hundreds of persons converged on downtown Albert Street in Belize City for the seventh annual Street Art Festival organized by the Institute of Creative Arts. The event had something for persons of all ages, from painting and art displays to fashion and jewelry on sale, as well as a kids section. Aside from the various booths, the main attractions were the youth and main stages where entertainment was in full swing, highlighting Brock Dung legend Lila Vernon. Dung Albert Street is artist booths, paintings, jewelry, people making baskets, um, all sorts of arts and crafts. So, you know, people are just engaging with the artists and buying th their things and vibing with the artists. I hope they're ordering and so the artists can make some money. There's the youth stage all the way down that side. There's the pandemonium steel pan playing. There's a mechanical bull which seems to be very popular. And right behind us here you can see the gray lady which is always a amazing thing happening. So it's exciting being out here, you know. I'm, I'm dog tired, but I'm still on my feet. The youth stage, first of all, is a, is a, is a testimony. Uh, my testimony about how creativity can change your life. Our theme this year for youth stage is your creativity is louder than a gun. Well, we, we really believe that if young people get a more chance to express themselves in a positive way through the creative arts, through sports, through other means, that you'll see a different country. We don't think it's a solution, it's, it's, one of the, it's only a solution, but we know it's a part of the, it's a part of the solution. And so today, when you, when you come to youth stage, you'll see dancers from across the city, across the country, not just Belize City, from Punta Gorda, Dangriga, you'll see young people interacting in a competitive way. The event literally took art from the canvas to the cement in a breathtaking challenge, the sidewalk chalk competition. Various artists, including primary school students, participated in the amateur and professional categories of the True Street Art Contest along the Battlefield Park. Oh my gosh, everything is just so beautiful. Everyone came out and they did their best and it's amazing. We had the chalk off between Micah, Keon, and Marvin, and as you can see, the artwork is amazing. That's why we had them in their own category. And we had the kids section. They did amazing as well. The colors they used, everything is just so beautiful. Girl, they fight. They, 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 they compete. They're competing, uh, yes. Like, they talk to us about what you guys are looking for, uh, specifically in judging this. What We're the just looking to, for their uh, creative side, you know, their artistic creativity, what they bring to the table, if it's something that they drew themselves or if it's something that they got off the internet and if they interpret it in their own way, you know, so it's just different things. As long as you bring your best and you, you make it your own, that's what we're looking for. Would you say this is what the Street Art Festival is all about? specifically because it's done on the, the pavement itself. Yes, this is exactly what the street art is about. And like I said, like, I, I always tell any artist who's, who know, you know, they want to do anything new, this is a perfect medium for you to come and explore something new, you know, get off the canvas, get off the paper, just come out to street art and just get some chalk and make some art. Dwayne Moody for News 5.